Hello everyone, I am Alex James, Integration Specialist at DDA Support Agency. In this video, I am going to discuss on the EDA capabilities of Boomi iPaaS. There are a lot of uh, integration platform to service products out in the market, but Boomi stands out as a 9x leader in Garden Magic Quadrant. Even among the leaders in the quadrant, Boomi stands apart because of its strong EDA B2B offering. Uh, at EDA support, we have helped a lot of customers in new Boomi implementations as well as in migration from legacy EDI infrastructure to Boomi. Our vision is to provide quality and affordable EDA service to customers. Uh, let's get started with the presentation. I've listed uh, here eight foundational functionalities that any EDA product should support and would like to show how Boomi helps achieve those functionalities. At the end of each section, I'll show the Boomi components associated with each functionality. Here are the eight uh, partner configuration, communication, document validation, routing, mapping, connectors, monitoring document tracking and runtime options. Let's start with partner configuration. Uh, yeah, uh, a company typically does EDA with many trading partners. The company's EDA application maintains all the partner configuration so that it can identify the sender partner using the EDA ID present in the document. Similarly, the EDA system should also send document with appropriate EDA IDs so that the document that is sent is recognized as the partner's EDA system. In Boomi, trading partner details are configured in the trading partner component where the envelope information, documents exchanged, and uh, communication is maintained. When a document is uh, received, at Boomi EDA server, the processor identifies the EDA document using the EDI ID and qualifier. If there is no valid uh, trading partner configuration present in the Boomi EDA server for the document received, the integration would fail as it could not recognize the document for there is no matching trading partner configuration found in the platform. Okay, let's quickly see the trading partner component in the platform. Here comes a uh, fictitious trading partner John Doe Pins and Jane Doe Supermarket. In a typical EDI system, the documents are exchanged between a host and a remote partner and a host partner trading partner details are maintained in a my company settings trading partner configuration, whereas the uh, remote trading partner configuration are uh, maintained in trading partner settings. If you could see here, the my company settings and the trading partner settings have different subsections, and this external standard subsection holds the envelope level information pertaining to the trading partner. This uh, external standard subsection has placeholders for the ISA IDs and uh, ISA version, test product indicator, the component separator, the GS version and GS uh, ID. Similarly, you would find an external standard subsection for the remote trading partner, which is termed as trading partner settings, where uh, it has placeholders to configure all uh, envelope level information related to that trading partner. The next important functionality is communication. Trading partner systems communicate with each other to exchange documents on agreed protocol. Boomi uh, support AS2, SFTP, FTP, HTP, and disk to send and receive EDA documents. 
based on the agreed uh, protocol, connection information has to be exchanged between the host and the remote trading partner to successfully connect the trading partner or uh, EDA systems. Uh, in any uh, EDA onboarding process, partner onboarding process, the initial stages involve gathering EDA implementation guides, samples, and connection related documents. At uh, EDA support, we leave no stone unturned. We engage with your trading partners and collect all the required information, such as the partner's EDID, the documents to be exchanged, preferred communication method, so that we would ensure that both the systems are connected without issues. Especially, establishing connectivity is a very critical piece, which involves opening up inbound and outbound IPs. And uh, once the connection details are exchanged, we also proactively perform connection tests for test in broad environments so as to avoid last minute connectivity issues. Let's see uh, where uh, the communication information is configured in the Boomi platform. The connection information is again uh, uh, configured in the trading partner component under the communication section. You could see here uh, the sample uh, trading partner component where AS2 communication method is configured. As I said earlier, the uh, communication options include communication method include uh, disk, FTP, HTTP, and SFTP. The third important functionality is document validation. Uh, the document validation uh, is a crucial functionality, in fact, as the EDA system should process only a valid document. Most trading partners uh, expect a 997 as an acknowledgement for the document that they send. And uh, if the document has validation issues, then reject 99 has to be sent out. If it's a valid document, then an accept 997 is usually being sent out in a typical EDI setup. Document validation is achieved through the Boomi EDA profile component. A Boomi EDA profile component is nothing but a document layout or structure, and uh, it is a built in template which has the segments and its field pre configured. The built in Boomi template, which is the EDI profiles comes pre-configured with mandatory fields, data types, maximum minimum blends, and validation rules as per the EDA standards. When the document is received from the trading partner, it is uh, validated on the configuration in the EDA profile referenced in the document section of the trading partner component. If it's valid, the document would flow through the documents path. If it is invalid, then the document would flow through the error path. Let me show you in the platform how an EDA profile looks and uh, how the different settings helps in the document validation. So here is a Boomi EDA profile. This Boomi platform gives us the option to import such rebuilt profiles. Uh, so this is an EDA profile for 850 EDA document for 4010 version and uh, you could find here the uh, BG segment with all its fields and you could also find here whether this is a mandatory field whether it's a mandatory segment or an optional one based on this option here and there are several other settings that you can find here in the element details which includes the mandatory or optional or it includes the field size options if field length validation has to be enabled. Then besides that, the profile also has advanced validation rules such as here and all these are all pre-configured. So this is something that you can readily and easily 
import from the pre-configured templates. Once this EDA profile is configured, it has to be referenced in the EDI trading partner component in the document section so that when the document is received, it is validated against the EDA profile and found valid. It would be sent for further down, further for processing. If it's invalid, the document would flow through the error path. Next comes the routing functionality. Routing is an important uh, EDI processing functionality where when an EDA document, when it is received from the partner, the document has to be routed to the right mapping process so that they are translated by the right map to be sent to the end system. Routing is achieved uh, through two components, the processing group and the process rows. Uh, I'll, I'll show you the processing group and process rows after going through the mapping functionality. Mapping, as you all know, is one of the very important key functionality of any integration middleware. And uh, in EDI system, the EDI document receipt has to be translated into a format which the end system can understand. Boomi provides a powerful uh, and easy to use visual mapping editor to convert source and destination formats. The target application can be an ERP such as NetSuite or SAP or a proprietary application requiring documents in XML or flat file format. Uh, Boomi supports uh, XML, JSON, flat file, DB formats in addition to EDI. At uh, EDI support, we believe reusability saves time and effort and ensures better code maintenance. We always find opportunities to create reusable maps and map functions. Let me now show you the components related to routing and uh, mapping. The processing group component uh, helps in routing the EDA document to the appropriate process. It uh, has functionality to route the document based on partners or based on documents. Uh, when a document comes into the EDI system, once the document is categorized as a specific document type, be it 850 or 860 or any inbound EDA document for that matter, it has to be routed to the appropriate process so that it is translated into a format which the end system can understand. When it comes to a large EDA system, there can be uh, partner-specific maps or each that can be region-specific maps as well. So all such routing can be configured using the process processing group component. Next comes the mapping component. As I just stated earlier, this mapping component involves uh, a translation between a source and a target format. In this map, it involves translation between an 850-4010 to an orders XML. And uh, as I said earlier, it's a uh, visual, uh, easy to use uh, uh, component where uh, the mapping is done as per the mapping specification given to us by the business analysts. Once mapping is done, then the created uh, target format or the result format is then routed to the end application. The next important functionality is connectors. With uh, the digital adoption, every enterprise is subscribing to a large number of SaaS applications and the IPAS solution should offer a wide range of connectors so as to easily integrate the EDA document into such SaaS applications. Boomi provides a large list of 
pre-built connectors to connect to specific software applications such as Sage or QuickBooks, NetSuite, Salesforce. In addition to those large list of connectors, it also provides technology connectors such as HTTP, AS2, DB, JMS, FTP, SFTP, etc. Connectors uh, help in faster development of uh, integrations by importing AP fields and map them to EDA files. If it hadn't been the connectors, it would be very time consuming for the developers to understand the uh, APIs that every SaaS application provides, create those fields and then consuming them would be definitely a time consuming task. But the power of IPaaS, the large list of uh, pre-built connectors and Boomi adds more connectors when it finds a specific SaaS application has wider uh, usage. At uh, BDA support, if the target application is a software as a service application, we study the API documentation thoroughly, identify the appropriate object where record needs to be created, and map EDA to API fields appropriately. We also closely work with the SaaS application developer to ensure our mappings are accurate and the records are properly created in the software as a, uh, software as a service application. For proprietary application, we map the ADA fields to the appropriate custom flat file or XML fields. Here you can see that Boomi offers more than 250 plus connectors here. Every uh, popular popular uh, software applications can be quickly integrated with the connectors available with Boomi platform. In case of the SaaS applications or software applications where there are no readily available connectors, Boomi has HTTP as well as SOAP web service connectors, which could be leveraged to connect to such applications. Every uh, application exposes their functionality via an API and can be consumed via HTTP or the SOAP web services. And for such integrations, the connectors are not readily available. A HTTP or a SOAP web service connectors can be used. The next important functionality is monitoring and document tracking. Boomi's uh, process reporting page displays all the integration executions. The reporting page shows the daytime of the execution, the uh, processing status, if it succeeded or failed or pending. In addition to the execution level tracking, Boomi also has a document and trading partner tracking to easily locate to the document. Uh, the trading partner tracking helps locate the EDA document based on various uh, track parameters such as partner name, EDA IDs, then uh, control numbers. So the trading partner uh, uh, tracking helps uh, easily locate any EDA document. At EDA support, we know how critical document tracking is for business. So we ensure to capture business numbers, just PO number, invoice numbers, and any technical numbers, just IDOC numbers at different stages of the document flow so that the source and tar target documents can be easily located for troubleshooting. Uh, finally, Boomi runtime options. Boomi provides two deployment models, which is very convenient. One is the Atom Clouds. The Atom Clouds runtime will be very helpful if all your integration endpoints are on the cloud. Whereas an on-prem deployment option is also available when the integration has to access resources behind the corporate firewall. At uh, uh, EDA uh, support, we understand your integration landscape and would suggest the right deployment model. Also, we uh, educate customers 
on the pros and cons of each deployment model and helps uh, customers take an informed decision. Now I would like to show our demo on uh, the Boomi EDA capabilities. I would like to show an end-to-end -end flow of uh, uh, an EDA document being received and then uh, translated into an XML and sent to an HTTP endpoint. So here is the situation where there is a, a Jane Doe supermarket which sends an 850 purchase order to John Doe pens over AS2. The John Doe pens EDA server receives the document, validates it, routes it to a mapping process where it gets translated from EDI to XML and then finally sent to the EDI application. The host trading partner is John Doe pens EDA server whereas the remote trading partner here is Jane Doe Supermarket. So let's quickly look at the end-to-end -end, uh, integration for this situation. So here is the first AS2 listener process, which starts with a trading partnership configured to receive AS2 inbound documents. So this process primarily listens for an AS2 inbound document. Once the document is received from Jane Doe supermarkets, uh, the 850 is received and the document is evaluated in this processing group to understand where this document has to be routed. And based on the routing configuration here, the document, when it's an 850 from Jane Doe supermarkets, would get routed to this process where it gets translated and forward to an end application, which is a HTTP endpoint. As I stated earlier, so the Boomi offers the tracking via the executions and uh, executions portal and the trading partner portal. So the executions portal shows the execution level monitoring on what has happened to the document. If you can see here, this document has succeeded and uh, it shows the document was received as an external document via AS2 server and it was forwarded to a HTTP endpoint, which is the end application. And the trading partner portal shows the document received and uh, it captures all the important uh, uh, EDA level information, control information like control numbers, GS control numbers. In addition to that, it gives a lot of uh, filter options to document, to filter by document type, filter by ISA control number. It also has options to filter by from trading partner to trading partner. The track fields helps in locating the document based on a specific business number such as a PO number or an invoice number. So the Boomi uh, EDA platform provides a comprehensive set of offerings for you to successfully uh, build your integrations for not for enterprises or companies of, of any scale. And we at uh, EDA Support LLC have helped customers succeed in new as well as in my, new implementations as well as in migrations. Please do reach out to us if you who require any assistance regarding Gumi EDI implementation of migration. Thank you for your time.